Hi everyone, and welcome to DFFML videos. In this video, we will be building different models and assembling them by the stacking method. We will be using the red point quality dataset uh, that supports both regression tasks and classification tasks. Uh, we will basically be experimenting uh, by assembling a classifier and regressor to see if the ensemble performs uh, better than those classifiers and regressors individually. If you would like a detailed description about downloading the datasets and uh, loading them into sources and setting up a DFML for different tasks, uh, you may go ahead and watch the video on that topic, uh, which will also be linked in the description. Uh, for this video, uh, we are going to uh, focus on the assembling part of the tasks. So uh, let the ensemble begin. Stacking basically consists of four steps. Uh, first, you need to train different models that you want to assemble uh, on the train data. The models are called the first level base models. You can choose uh, the base models and find their entry points from the models plugin page of the documentation. Right here, as you can see, there are different models listed and you can find their, hyperparam their entry points as well. Once you have the entry points, you can pass those entry points to model.load method. Uh, as usual, uh, we instantiate our base models with features, uh, the target feature, and the location of the model. You can also pass in any hyperparameters if you wish. Uh, in this case, we are not passing any and we are using the default values. The next part is to train the model as usual. Uh, we use the high-level train method and we pass in our model and the train data. After that, you can go about tuning your model and testing as you like. Um, in this case, you can see that the classifier performs better than the regressor. Um, the classifier gets up to 0.55 accuracy, whereas the regressor gets 0.47 accuracy. Uh, for stacking, you would want to split your data three ways, uh, which can be done like this in the notebook. I split the data into a training set, a validation set, and a test set. You basically want to do that because in the second step, we will be getting the predictions of the base models we trained on both validation set and the test set. Once we have the two sets, uh, we are ready to get the predictions in the usual uh, way by calling the predict method on the validation set once and on the test set. We do this for uh, all our base models. And once we have the predictions, we are all set for the start third step, which is to stack the predictions. We will be stacking all the validation predictions together and all the test predictions together in the form of dictionaries along with the true label, which is why in this case. Note that we are actually creating another data set for our level two model, the meta model that is. The validation predictions will be used to train the meta model and the test predictions will be used to test our meta models. Once we have the stack predictions and uh, on both the data sets and all our models, we are ready to train the last meta model. Uh, so let's begin the step four and train our meta model. Since we have seen from earlier testing that classifiers perform better on the data, we will be using scikit SVC classifier as our meta model. Let's go ahead and initialize, train, and test the model. Note that uh, we are using the same features that we stacked in our data set earlier, and the true label is set to Y, the predict feature. And then we train the model on stack validation predictions, and we test our model on the stack test predictions. Finally, we plot all the scores of base models against that of the meta model, uh, which is our ensemble model. As you can see that uh, the classifier uh, gave a score of 0 0.55, the regressor got a score of 0 0.47, whereas our ensemble model got a score of 0 0.58, which is higher than any of our base models. Uh, we can say that our experiment was a success because generally ensemble models uh, are considered successful only if they perform better on the unseen data, which in this case our model does. 
as an exercise, I suggest uh, that you download the notebook and try to get a better accuracy. Uh, a good place to start would be changing the base module hyperparameters or even adding a new uh, base model that might provide unique info to the ensemble. I hope that everything was clear. If there are any queries that you might have, uh, you can always uh, go ahead and open issues on our GitHub or you can even reach out on uh, our Gitter community channel. Thank you.